Hi friends, welcome to Subha's Creations. I'm Shubha. In this video, I would like to introduce you to a new tool using which you can convert existing quizzes and surveys which is present in the Google Doc to Google Form on just one click. I already introduced you to another tool called Auto Magical Forms. Auto Magical Form is simply awesome. I would say this one is not as good as Auto Magical Forms, but this is definitely way better than Doc to Form or any other tool that I know of. The reason I'm introducing you to this tool is this is free. You can import up to 100 documents per month, which is more than sufficient for me. But you have to do a little bit of tweaking after importing the document, which is not a big deal for me. I would say if your district can pay for it and if you can afford for it, go for automagical forms. If you can't afford it and still you're looking for a better option, which can save your time and energy, then go for this one. Let's go and watch the video. This is the document that I actually want to convert it into a Google Form quiz. So this quiz already exists in Google Doc format. I have an image, uh, multiple choice questions. I have another image and I also got a short answer question and i want to convert this into a google form assessment the advantage of using this converting this into a uh, google form is so i can assign the quiz online and i can convert this quiz into an auto grading quiz so the google form will automatically grade it for me and this will save ton of my time and also I can just stop uh, the kids from, prevent the kids from going to any other websites when uh, using Google Form. So that's a huge advantage. Like suddenly I can convert my classroom into testing mode. And the other advantage of Google Form is I can branch off Google Forms into two different quizzes based on what question they choose at the very beginning. I can divert them into two different sections. So that way, uh, two or any uh, two or more different sections. So that way, I can control that even though they're even though they get a look at each other's screen, they don't actually get the same questions so this has so many advantage now let's go and see how to instantly bring all these questions which i have in this document into the google form so in a matter of no time you can convert your classroom into a testing zone now go to google.com and type form builder form builder add-on this will take you to the link and click the very first link and get redirected to the G Suite marketplace and install this add-on. This won't take more than 30 to 40 seconds. This add-on will let you import um, up to 100 documents per month, which is more than sufficient for me. Now go back to your original form and Click this add-on icon, uh, like it looks like a puzzle piece. So click this and check whether your add-on is uh, got installed here or not. So if it is installed, now you can just start. Uh, it is installed already, so I'm going to click Start. So the Form Builder toolbar is showing up here. So now I'm going to bring in my questions from a Google Doc. You can also bring it in from Sheets or Slides or even from other forms. Now I'm going to click Google Doc and I'm going to find the document where I got my question. This is the document and click Select. So in few seconds, all my questions from this document, my original Google Doc document, will come up here in this Google form. Now let's go and scroll down. Sorry. 
So all the questions are here. Now you can choose which questions to keep. And if you want to delete any of the questions, you can just simply uncheck this or you can leave it. Now, so this is a question. If I scroll over, this is a multiple choice question. If I scroll over the question, I'm able to see the question. The lysosome is found in which of the following. Now I can do two things. I can just import the questions one by one. If I want to import only few questions, if I just say, if I click this, only my question number two will be imported to the form. You can see it here. Now I'm going to go to click the setup configuration so I can customize the configuration of this particular question. I am going to convert this into a required question. And these are the options. And I'm going to say, this is a multiple choice question. And I'm going to say save. So like this, you can go to the questions one by one and bring it here. The reason I'm not able to choose the answer key here is because I did not convert this form into a Google form, a quiz form yet. So you just make sure that you convert your form into a quiz by going to settings and go to quizzes and say, make this into a quiz. And you can choose whether you want to give the feedback immediately or you want to give it later. If, this, if you're going to give it as a summative assessment, then probably choose this. If it is a formative assessment, you can choose this. So now you can just say import the selected question. So this will import all the questions into the Google form. Let's see how it is going to work. So it is importing the questions one by one. It also imported the image, which is very good. Okay, so I got all my questions here. Uh, but it did not bring my another image. Like I had an image here between question number 11 and 14. So this image is missing. It did not bring that image. Uh, I don't know why. But I can just add that image later on. It's not a big deal. It's still going to save my time. Okay, now everything is here. So these are actually advanced uh, features. You have to pay to utilize these features. But I don't know if you really have to uh, pay to make the questions required because you can go here, click this three dots and click preferences and you can set up all this. You can say collect email addresses and make questions required. So all the questions will be uh, automatically converted into a required questions. And then you can set a point value for all the questions. So even if that isn't working, it's no big deal. You can just go here and convert this into a required question. And I have to set up the answer key now. So as I said, all questions are now going to carry same point value. In case I, I want to change it, I can change it. And uh, if, uh, this is actually a multiple choice question. If I have more than one correct answer, then I have to go here and choose the check boxes option. But I'm not doing that right now. So I just have to go here and set up the answer key. Okay, the lysosome is found in, okay, so I'm going to set up answer key. Likewise, I can just choose every single question and set up the answer key. The central vacuole is found in which of the following cells? The plant cell. And point value, done. 
convert this into a required question. So likewise, you can set up the answer key for every single question and convert it into a um, auto grading quiz. But when you look at question number six, this one actually broke that six question into three, three different parts. So this is my question, this is the image, and this, these are the options. So now I have to fix everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, control C, and then I'm going to get rid of this. Now I'm going to give title to this image. Image for question number And here, I'm going to paste the question. So, I mean, this is, you have to spend like few seconds here, especially when you're bringing an image, but it's still bringing an image. So I still like it. I think this is a great tool, especially considering that I'm not paying money so I have to bring in the other uh, image for this question. So those are the only few changes that I need to make. Once I make that changes, this form will be ready to be pushed through Google Classroom and I can just conduct my assessment using this form. Thank you for watching the video and spending your time with me. If you liked it, please hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment box. To support my channel, please subscribe to it and share it with your friends.